Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Shalom. Happy Easter. Today, na Saturday, number 30 day for this month of March 2024. My name na Kapo Daniel, wuna own countryman, sense past king. Wuna welcome to our daily podcast, a program would they bring una the truth? Would they bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia? Our country people and good people of Ambazonia at home and abroad are bring una all revolutionary greetings. With the salute, una, especially as na time for Easter, we hope say all money they find and meet the blessings for Easter. We reconcile a sinner with a God, make it be our portion. Our country people would get message from our soldier then for inside Bamenda for Allah Bukam. Say Kamaro military they conduct operation for the way they target them. The whole place it be surrounded, it be dark. We will follow up the situation and we will begin to inform our people accordingly. May we keep our soldiers and for day in our prayers. All these things it come as a result of which we would only talk about. But before that, I want to announce for our people them say the United States government, the Joe Biden administration, they then finally extend the TPS protection for all Cameroonians. We it target we Ambazonians and Anglophones in particular. I will come for that later. I will also update Una about the situation for the UNHCR and the support for our refugee them for inside Nigeria in particular. But first, wait to wait happen for inside Bamenda. As I began tell Una, two things that happen where it destroy our struggle completely. Number one, Nayabacho. Number two, Nayabacho. The first thing where it happen, I say, the road with the ram block them for Batibo, the between the ram block road for Batibo, say the one block them for one month. For cry general Ifang, he die. I be tell una say na lie. As the one month it can expire, they don't talk again. Say now the one for block the one way they go to for a cock. So they want for block that route again for another one month. Our people them where they not trader them they no fit bear the increase in cost where they go through Dwala. Even as Bali a cock route if you see the pass, it be very very difficult for them. They no fit take another two months again. Now the lapses and this way you see. Cameroon government, they de increasingly they attack our soldiers for Bamenda because they de get more and more collaborators em, within the ranks of business people, then where they know that they de fight injustice as well. Number second thing where they happen, now they kidnapping them. Time for the past two years, I be the use the ADF with so that they were around gather them around town, middle and can join the ADF. Make we fight kidnapping. Kidnapping if they for instance Quen for Bamenda. So and so that they be there for Ntanka where they used to go join boy them for Bafo they can't kidnap. As well for inside uh, Nkwende. It don't move now and right for instant Taturu. As boy them even for Alabu come they don't join them. As I did talk for Una. For the past one week. Every single day. We don't get at least three report them where they come. For back travelers. For Ntaturu. Bame, uh, Bali Park area day. I mean at least three where they don't come from a table for report. Inside this theory where they report, at least you go get seven where they nobody report because either they nobody get my number or they fear the fear intimidation or they don't go na for the republic. So when I feel imagine before kidnapping if you didn't have Quen, now it don't come for instance man on site. That means the whole Bamenda it don't nya. It won't be around six o'clock. That way Cameroon military they don't close their checkpoint and pack their car and go. Now the time that way, boy, they enter for town for begin pick people them. For this particular place, so behind travelers, whether you work on our photo or Benzikin, boy, they come out, show you gone, carry you go down for bush. Imagine the trauma where the people they face every day. When I remember, say, people from Quen, they won march against our camp the way they for inside uh, foyer. Now me, I stopped that march against our boys them, and the population, me, they no rise up our boys them for the past two years, fighting and using fighting and collaborating with the uh, dead man for day for, for make sure see me they so that them for ya me them be disciplined and make no person no begin to carry out kidnapping for ransom then me gonna imagine what it will happen if this type of situation it come for instance when 
it will be at the end for fighting for Bamenda. It won't be six o'clock. Even people the way they did use call box, people where they be safe for corner road. When a people where they know all man, they know be the touch that one them, they don't start touch them. So the situation it don't pass Wataram, pass Gary, as a fit talkam. The people they don't get enough. The main reason na behind na the thing where about children talk say me they catch all man for take liberation tax without exception. That is the main drive where you don't give the boy them like a blank check. Say the few who any man talks to you need to support struggle, you must pay money. Show their receipt. They don't even begin to print their own receipt them. Any man they print your own receipt for inside Bamenda. Any chief boy, any small boy, they not and that way they go on. So the worst one I say so that themselves a camp that they be involved. Now the worst things than that. So you go run gonna for side. Even Kayue would not ban Kayu. The same so that the way they don't keep people because they supply Kayu. Today they the partner with people they they say Kayu. Ebua, where Abiran designate them as a wanted man we did for upstation because he get protection for the Cameroon military for say Kayu. It then become now a partner with so that them for Instagram. When I feel say population they know the CM, they don't know which way they happen. They don't know the 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 which way they drive boy them for town. So these are the situations that are critical. We will need for highlight and make the population know. We will continue for advice our soldier them. Say the attack on the CM today for Bamenda na a direct result for na conduct them. People they did mislead una for the diaspora say na hardline them where they did say una against our people, not against La Republic. Make una no fish and love una. Because tomorrow, when you go for una go for, they will pretend to go about their day to day life, let nothing over happen. So we'll start the war now for fight for our population. May we focus for fight for our population. That said, fellow Ambazonians, the American government they are extend the TPS, na temporary protective status, na some document, na some classification where it help country the way they get war, where people they know if you go back for that country them, make them stay for America, they go give them work permit, they are ref, they no go deport them, they go protect them. But first refugee, the way they be enter America like Jomba Akuru, Ambazonian refugee like Jomba Akuru, Akosung Ramon, all those one them no be ready the problem. The problem na the, the common refugee, the way they no get access for information. They need for hear this this information announcement and run for go sign for renew their application so that they know if deport them they could get right to for work refugee population be very important for our community because now they support development now they be the main bread provider them for most family them for ground zero this temporary protective status i will come back for this one for give on a way to go on and how people then feel benefit them more detailedly but I want for first take us for Nigeria, where the most vulnerable of our refugees and day for day. The refugee then for Nigeria, some of the community they don't contact for inquire about the issue with the UNSCR then get them. Then to the the film. The UNSCR they announced them for inside UN floor. Say the refugee then for Cameroon and I think four other countries then where they support them, then risk for stop complete help for give this population. Because nation state, they need to see support them. They need to see give money, me go for those refugee them. So our people then be worried. Which way they need for understand? Now say the UNSCR, the later would answer them for them and they respond with the thank you for we issue say, even if they not get support financially, their staff member then go see be able for daily for begin provide documentation and for follow up for our community them. Because community people them, the money they don't cut, I think they be the pay about. The money that reduced to 2,600 naira per month where they support family them for inside Nigeria for refugee camp them where they don't register. Now, that money, you know, you know if you survive for that money for Nigeria for one month. Bag rice around now 55,000 naira. So they, they live in very precarious situation. Refugee them way, they, they, someone they be even the cross go back, they come back because of communal violence and all the activity the way that happen for that border region. Then no man, nobody be able for cross go back. Instead, a more refugee that they come from information or they get them. I will play some audio from our refugees and from Nigeria. We then talk for react on this issue, make our population at least know their situation. Well, they turn them for the past years where they don't try their best. You know, say they know if they do as more than they can. So they don't already they abandon self. No, we say now now they want to abandon. For instance, now for Nigeria, everything they cost. Uh, our CBI that's the support a month they give two six. 2,600, but uh, something they rise for small rubber now, for 5,500 uh, now. 
So that one said, first of all, they are now where they live on UN support, all those kind of things. You know, easy, you know, easy. If you go come now, they come of maybe 9,000 registered refugees. But if you go to the Navy, you see 400 persons on ground. Therefore, they don't plenty pass. So we just thank Nigeria government for give we access maybe to involve ourselves into other businesses or other things that we will feed it, at least get some more money. It's not be like that, say UN. That one way they say they want to leave us, they don't leave us now since like this past twenty twenty three way past not be all man even see the support self. Just so plenty majority of refugee them they have already stopped their support completely. Did they give support not only for very few vulnerable people them according to how they do their classification and the refugee them where they be there for come majority of the run already dispersed as soon as they hear over 80 percent they run dispersed because of lack of means for support so when they work for inside do dirty job it under the, the seminal and kondengi prison where people that end up for start begin do business within the prison camp so that if you make ends means our most vulnerable girls then be more affected and in a very dire situation, we will continue to try to see how we help. The Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform would want to run a support for our refugee, would raise money. So any man will hear my voice, we want to support our refugee aid. You meet up us for try for contact me on my WhatsApp and see how if we donate. We will try for send food them and for meet our refugee their need. As we try for advocate for them, for make sure say media right them be protected. More from our refugees them. We gonna hear from them, forget their situation. So even though some people then, they, they, they really they, they pass through a lot, they, they suffer, they, they suffer, and people turn down, they, they suffer, no be small suffer. Like those way, they no get maybe people from all where they, they assist them with small food. And majority of refugees, the way they did now for come, maybe now the one where they get maybe cyber issues set, where no way, no way, no, no way, no day to go back to their place. Even now the UN support, I don't see the support we, they, they give as a cash based intervention be concerned. So those are the challenges and the difficulties and the plight of our people. Them, the one them, even the one where they work at least the U and they where they help them for follow cases. Them when they get police case, the police then too they still harass them. We then try also for see how we reach out for the governor. We then send a letter, no reply yet about that. But we will try for follow up so that me they respect them when they limit them for control point. Me then they exploit them. We then also try for contact and we will continue for try for contact local chief them for see whether they feel begin give we land for work farm day because now only few refugees and the way they feel rains farm for work farm. So these are the challenges. Like maybe if you do labor, you do labor. Um, person no fit pay you, you report. So far you get the ID card. I believe you and Kofi assist to follow up the person why you no know one pay you. So that one will not get fear for that one. Yes. So far you be captured. Where they are that day for their own table. Anything where they pass through, they, they assist for that one, no be no be like and uh, this the ID card we will get uh, very soon it will, it will expire. So if they talk say they want to leave us now, we some of us we they do our business, we they work out everywhere, every every state. So we still get torment, no matter the number of years we've done there inside this Nigeria. We get torment for control. So, so those are the problems that we were refugees that they face them for Nigeria. It'd be a little bit better for Ghana, but they face the same challenges them for day. So we we'll pray we could continue for fight for a program for refugees and for return. Before we get to that, I will give the document where the American government that I'm post them for their in, for their website, the government website where they monitor them. And where they are lawmaker they run forward and for we so that make our population they hear. I go read the TT the TPS. When I see and say the run grants this thing, now for Cameroonians, Ambazonians the way they the good day. You need to identify yourself properly like a Cameroonian before you go feel benefit for the. There is no conflict. Where Ambazonian who then adopt and would call ourselves Ambazonia na an aspirational name. It no be done, it no be reality yet. So we need to fix our mind them for the reality of the war for know how we best push our agenda for independence. Otherwise, we will be outlaw. Because when you do, some person they take aspiration like reality, it will put you for many problems them. And it will make them the, the one the way they don't get brain amongst we. Those hardliners the way they use now manipulation and lie, they will push things them for the direction where it no not bring us any result. So I will read the document as it did. And hopes it will provide a background like a report because report them be very important. Me, people they know the facts of which way it happened and how way the war it is see that country Cameroon as a whole. 
I will read them. The one at the part where he talk about the overview. It talks says, since 2014, ongoing armed conflict between the government of Cameroon and non-state armed groups in the, in the far north region, especially Boko Haram, an Islamic state of West African province, ISWAP, has resulted in killing, kidnapping, displacement, and destruction of civilian infrastructure. While the battles against non-state armed groups, the Cameroon government is also attempting to control continuing secessionist crisis in Northwest and Southwest regions. Extraordinary and temporary conditions, including secessionist crisis, human rights abuses by members of armed forces and forces, food insecurity, spread of diseases, mass displacement continue to prevent Cameroonian nationals and those who last habitually resided in Cameroon from returning back home. So the one are the reason why did they give this protection. Number one, Nase for Boko Haram, the attack with the Aswab, the attack with the for Northern Cameroon. Number two, that attack is the result of killing, kidnapping, displacement, and destruction of property where people the way they stay for the day, they go back. Number two, way to, why did they gam? Now because of the problem with the for Northwest and Southwest, where they talk say it cause a condition with fighting, we remember them, but that area, they know if you go back, now either they give this protection. The scale of violence, do you want a detailed report about which way it happened as the war it is Siam and as America it is Siam. It said for 2014, Boko Haram launched their first attack for Far North region. For 2015, a splinter group of this ice swap, they established themselves and they be very active with them be associated with this ISS for up northern Cameroon. So they then face serious attack from far north, and recently they then get large scale attacks by Boko Haram, which then result to the killing of civilians and Cameroon soldiers, and the destruction and burning of homes and looting of properties and such as such as such. A separate attack that killed two civilians in the far north. That one they show now the reason them which which it happened for far north, and uh, it go down to like chuck basin and all those type of things. The second part way it, it concern with the most, it talk about. The Northwest and Southwest regions, as they put them in capital letters. They say Cameroon, majority Francophone speaking nation. So now here how they describe Cameroon. Cameroon is a majority Franco French speaking, they put them in bracket, Anglo Francophones nation, with two ma ma majority English speaking regions, Anglophones. That means you get two regions where so they speak when they're Anglophones. So primarily, the country be divided into Anglophone and Francophone, the way where the America is here. The country continues to face secessionist insurgency in the Anglophone areas. Anglophone separatists continue to commit human rights abuses against both government forces and civilians, engaging in killing, kidnapping, and other means of forceful control over the last populations. So they talk about forceful control. This one, another thing we would call and say lockdown. Separatists have restricted the movement of persons, goods in areas under their control, sometimes in a deliberate attempt to harass, intimidate the local population, or often use weekly lockdowns or call ghost towns during which businesses, schools, places of worship are closed. 30 women were reportedly kidnapped by separatists in, in May. 2023, after participating in peaceful protests against separatist violence and taxes, with some women tortured, beaten, and shot. Separatist groups have targeted civilian infrastructures. Their violence have acutely impacted on access. Now, upon page two, access to education. More than half schools in the Northwest and Southwest regions remain closed for 2022-2023 period, according to the United Nations. Armed groups have also attacked health care facilities, including attacks against hospitals in June 2022 that deprived over 85,000 people access to health care. So it comes now for government abuses. I will read that one for government abuses later on. I want me to understand which way the American government is talking about we and the Congo world is doing. 
una look the thing then the thing then is we criticize them some people then talk so they hide them or we hide them na american government then that they don't open the file so na see the things the way they exploit the struggle with the toxic na things the way they need to protect our population against so these are the document today, tomorrow when i go here say the one for label our struggle as extremists na on those basis them for cameroon government their side make a read them report indicated that the cameroon government security forces have engaged in human rights violations often in areas where they are engaged in separatist clashes reportedly security forces have perpetrated extrajudicial killings widespread sexual and gender based violence burned anglophone villages and subjected individuals with suspected separatist ties to arbitrary detention torture and ill treatment recently members of the cameroonian armed forces killed three people and burned homes in ye village and destroyed homes in and shops in kumbu both attacks were believed to be retaliatory for attacks on the military by armed separatists according to amnesty international response to the crisis from political and judicial authorities has so far involved further human right violation instead of genuine investigation of crimes by armed separatists authorities have accused certain individuals denounced atrocities of being armed separatists or supporters and have arbitrarily arrested and detained them investigation into human right abuses by authorities appear rare and when investigation are open proceedings are slowed and public information is unavailable so when i go read the document where we write about cameroon last year when i see say the language don't change now they somehow justify cameroon their action them even when they condemn them they talk say the reason why cameroon they attack na because they carry out na reprisal attack when i remember say this document na mainly between 2022 and 2023 report where they use them for justify the TPS so it give us a window about the security briefing the way the american government and get them or the type of information they get them about us so somehow they try to justify them they talk say the cameroon government their action they be na in terms of reprisal for the most part and they don't cite the example them and that one it also reflect way to who they talk them some of some time the perception they define reality and this is just what has been the case for our fighter them they the talk us who they use force the word we they use them for our fighter them and this that these things can be very important the word we they use them for we na forceful control over last population of anglophone forceful control so they say they use deliberate attempt to harass intimidate local population and often use lockdowns so these are the word that they are using and what our population they need to know when we would raise the alarm of the international opinion and the turning of table now because of such reports them who would present them on a CC be accurate our assessment and our thesis are all accurate we will do everything as the ambazonian people's right advocative platform the leading organization with the biggest network of our people soldiers refugees and political prisoners to represent the best interests of our state irrespective of any political noise and weevil bet that speaks out there on social media Capo Daniel looking out for you signing off